here in the UCIC building. We're so excited to be here and celebrate this amazing idea lab, and we're going to learn more about it in a minute for those of you who weren't uh, in the session this morning. But I'm very excited to be here. UTRGB has always been a wonderful partner with the Chamber of Commerce and has always been so helpful in making things happen, supporting our local community, and providing the resources for students across the Mid Valley. And so we're so grateful that UTRGB created the CIC right here in the Mid Valley, accessible to all students. So again, we're very grateful for that. I do want to highlight our Red Coat Ambassadors and our West Waco World Court who are here with us to celebrate today as well. So thank you to our West Waco team for being here uh, for this celebration as well. Let's give them a round of applause. And to have a conversation about the CIC and this ideal element, I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic over to Ms. Lori Simmons, who has done a phenomenal job here and again been a tremendous supporter and partner of the Chamber of Commerce to talk to us more about why we're here today. Thank you, Barbara. First and foremost, I, the Idea Lab is not the CIC. The Idea Lab is a part of the back of college business and entrepreneurship. And we are just the very fortunate ones to be able to house it. It's a fantastic program. And I want to introduce Dr. Sylvia Robles, who is the, the brainchild of this, or this is the brainchild of her, and Dr. Lance Nail, and I would like for her to, to tell you a little bit about the, um, a little bit about the program, and then at the end of the program, I may say a few words about our, our facility. But right now, this is Dr. Robles' show. Four years ago, we have this crazy idea of trying to solve issues and help the community. But for those who didn't have an idea where to start or how to start it, I know we are very blessed to have so many uh, resources around the ecosystem, entrepreneurial ecosystem, with ECC, CIC, and many others at UTRGB that are helping the community to build up their businesses. But what about those who didn't have, they have the intention to start something, but they didn't know how to do it. So, design thinking, DIP, Idea Lab, is here to fill that gap for those who are underrepresented, for those who are looking for a solution to make their idea come to life. And this program, this program has been supported by Dr. Mel. And Dr. Mel, we, we hired him four years ago. I was blessed to be in the search committee. And when I saw him engaging so much with the CEO students who happened to be there, you know, uh, interviewing or, or being to be, uh, I, I realized that the community had found somebody who would really put all the energy, the minds, of course, but more than that, the passion. The passion not only to assist the community out there who wanted to start a business, but to help the students, the faculty, the staff. We have grown so much in the College of Business and Entrepreneurship thanks to all the support you have done, done for every single one. I raise your hands if you have been touched by Dr. Nails. Actions and support. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, as you know me, some of you, I cannot get a no for an answer. And if I get a no, I will find a way. So I knock the door. Dr. Mel, we have this population here. I have here my research. I did my market research because I have my students do it. So I had to present. And here's my research. Nobody has this program in the valley. Nobody. So can we do something about it, please, please? Two years ago or more. And finally, this baby uh, was, was come to life. But I wouldn't have been able to do it without our group, the idea guy, Kevin Popovic, how do you pronounce it? Popovic. And of course, he is a genius. Very his fan name. He's a genius behind the, the idea lab. But now, we 
the a primer of the little grand valley to this baby. Yes. And taking it to a next level. He was so surprised to see all your engagement, the passion that you just showed. We have 10 ideas just in an hour and a half being created by these amazing people from across all disciplines, from the community, from Utah TV, and I wouldn't have done it with Dr. Neil's support because he believed in this program, even though nobody did before, but he did. And he gave me the opportunity to implement these crazy ideas and see, we are now here saying goodbye to this amazing man because he's leaving us, oh. but not without the, 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 the proud to see his baby come to us. So thank you to the incredible Center for Innovation and Commercialization team. This, everything that you have seen, all the social media, the workbooks, the layout, all the work, and I'm gonna cry. Because their support was limitless. And I wouldn't have been here implementing this workshop before our day will leave without Laurie Simmons and every single in, team, in her team supporting. Also, I want to thank the fancy ladies, the CTO students, and everybody in the community, a lot of entrepreneurs that have been in my courses or touched by a workshop or something I just met last week, and, and some others that I just met yesterday, and I said, hey, you need to join me, correct? I was asking them, hey, you know, the, the whole of it is straight for me in the middle of the night, but I can see that we have a, a, a great response, but we wouldn't have done it without you, Lori, and the full support of an amazing team. Hey, please. Come over here. I want to see the team, CIC team, so everybody can see you guys. In sincerity, and so I've got uh, a little over four and a half hours left on the clock as the dean here. So I'm about to end my career as a business dean, and uh, I wanted it to happen this morning with these people. And now you've started. <laughs> so, but what I want to tell you is for everybody here, mark this day. This is going to be a special day when you look back 10, 20 years ago. This is where things change in the valley, in mid valley. It's the way we think, the way we approach, the way we do. I'm going to be looking from wherever I'm at to see all these great things. So I had the privilege of serving with Kevin at San Diego State. And I saw the amazing things he did and, and what we did with design thinking. He came out of the D school at Stanford. And as we got here, I said, this is something that the valley deserves. This is something that UPRGD deserves. Our people need to have the same thought process that's driving the innovation on the West Coast, what's driving all these Silicon startups. Why do we not have it here? We need to have it here. And I was blessed with the opportunity to have a professorship that allowed me to fund this, to support everything, and I was smart enough to say yes to Sylvia. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you to my awesome team. I'm going to miss you guys incredibly. We're not going to spend too much more time because we have to cut a ribbon here and celebrate. And I know everybody wants to do that, but I just want to thank everyone for participating and making this an awesome start. And again, we'll be talking about this day in West Coast in the Middle East. Thank you, guys.
we see it. We see it happening across the entire valley, the work that you all are doing, how it's impacting so many people and so many entrepreneurs. So we thank you for all the work that you do uh, to support these young entrepreneurs and current businesses that are working and making things happen here in the Rio Grande Valley. And uh, before we get to the room, I'd like to invite an ambassador, one of our ambassadors, to come and say a few words and congratulate you for today. Uh, this is Ms. Rhonda Lewis. She'll be administrator for the Valley Baptist Medical Hospital here in Moscow. Thank you. part of this and to, we will. We will mark it on our calendar and we will remember to say moving forward. And as Barbara said, we are seeing the amazing things that our young entrepreneurs are doing um, here in the Mid Valley especially. Uh, grow just enormous. Day after day we are going to new ribbon cuttings, new ideas, and it's amazing to me that you only have 10 ideas so far. Uh, I mean, I'm yeah, in and out. Because no. by the end of the day, I'm sure you're gonna have many more. So on behalf of the Westaco Chamber, um, its board members and the CEO, we would like to present you with this plaque just to present there in the uh, area. And again, just as a momentum, um, so that we can remember this day moving forward. Thank you. Sarah, 
to the Texas Hall of Fame. Um, so thank you, and thank you because that was a great experience personally for me and you being there and your support consistent on everything in the whole process and you making that connection with me personally, taking the time to even send me a message or making that experience a great experience for me and for me to be able to grow from it. I want to thank you and on behalf of everybody, we want to thank you and you're going to be missed. Freddy. So, yeah, heavy. <laughs> 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 oh, ribbon on our feet. Yeah, okay, and on three, we will cut the ribbon. Okay? So, on three, if anybody wants to join me, one, two, two 